Hello, my name is Jason Silverstein, and this is my 51st week selling on eBay. A lot of you who watch this channel are booksellers because my most popular video was about books. It was about how to make money selling low value books. And that's why I wanted to do this video, which may benefit you. My parents were about to give away a bunch of books and they asked me about it first before they did to see if I wanted to keep any of them. Now I saw the big pile of books on the ground and I figure none of them really stood out to me as books that were worth anything. But I decided to scan them all just, just to make sure before they gave them away. And I found some books that actually were worth money that wouldn't really seem like they're worth money just by looking at them. Because usually you think of books that are worth money or old first edition of books, something like that. That's what I'm used to. But these books that were worth money, this is something that may really help you. They were books on the sport of boxing. More particular, they were books centered around the fighters Leonard Hagler, Hearns, and Duran. Now, the reason why these books were worth money is something that you could really learn from. It was because there was recently a documentary on those fighters. It came out June 6th. It was called The Kings, and it was on Showtime. And a lot of those books were out of print at the time. But what happened now is a lot of those books went back into print and they're no longer worth much money. I didn't act fast enough to really make much money. Actually, when I found those books at my parents' house, I could have sold them for a decent amount of money, but I didn't really act too fast, which is entirely my fault. One of them I did sell for $30, the, the Four Kings, so that was nice. But I, I learned a lesson there, which is great if you are a bookseller. If you see a, a documentary come out like that, like the, the Kings about those boxers, See if you have any of those books, first of all. But second of all, maybe you could go out and look for those books. See if you could find books like that. Because the people who are selling them may not notice that those books jumped up in value. And it takes a while for the publishers to start putting those books back into print. Once they do put those books back into print, then of course those books you have are no longer worth much money. That's my message for you today. I hope it helps. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, and I will see you next time.